play chords on the bass, we arpeggiate or hit one note at the time. The first chord we're going to talk about is the five chord. The five chord is a generic chord. It's a fit all chord. We're using the root note, in this case A, and I'm using the fifth note of the A scale. I can count on my fingers, A, B, C, D, E. E is the fifth of A. So my first finger is on an A, my third finger is on the fifth, which is E, and my pinky is on the octave A. This chord shape gets its name by my first finger. Whatever fret my first finger is, that's what names it. So, fifth fret outside is an A5 chord. Some people call it a power chord, a uh, rock chord, but its correct term is the 5 chord. Again, this is movable. Fifth fret is A. Eighth fret is C. Third fret is G back to A. The five chord is a great chord to use because it works on both sides of the fence. Both your major scale has it in there and your minor has the fifth in there. So since both of those scales have the fifth in them both, you can use your five chord for major and or minor. Now we also have a major and minor third chords for the bass. The blue note represents major. In this case, your diagram shows you're going to use your second finger for your root note. Its major third is one string to the floor, one fret lower. So if I'm on A, its major third is going to be a C sharp. Now I could just use those two notes and that would fit fine over top of any A major chord. I can go ahead and start to throw in other notes as well. The fifth note of that scale and of course the octave. So if I'm playing something in the key of A major or playing the chord A major, I would play the root note, the major third. I could play the fifth and the octave. Now a minor third chord, the red box is going to dictate your root note. In this case, your third finger, I'm going to put on A. My first finger is going to go one string to the floor, two frets lower. So A minor is going to be an A and a C. I could just arpeggiate those two notes if I wanted to over an A minor chord. Or I could go ahead and throw in the fifth as well. And of course I could throw in the octave.